Hello there, carnivores. This is Caleb with Knutson's Meats, and today we have another meat boning tutorial video for you. If you haven't boned out a lot of meat, this video could be of immense help. We're gonna start with our neck bone. I'm using my six inch Victorinox boning knife to follow the vertebrae. You kind of go up and around over each little vertebrae. There's kind of a ledge for each one. You just use your knife to follow it the best that you can. The more you do, the easier it is. Now I'm just gonna use my knife to follow where that vertebrae and the meat kind of come together. Now that I've carved out each side, it really easily comes off here. So there's our neck bones. We can use those for soup bones or stew meat if the customer wants that. Otherwise, we can just take another uh, 30, 45 seconds to bone out some more meat on that. This will kind of give you an idea of where you might find some hidden meat where you can throw that in the customer's hamburger. And then we're gonna take off this neck bone and some of that yellow weasen that doesn't grind up well. Learning to use a meat hook could be of great benefit for you. So I highly recommend learning this. I learned a lot of this from Jared Cope, who is my buddy. We shot a video on home beef processing. I'll have a link above if you want to check that out. He has many years of experience and we used to work in the meat department at a grocery store together. Not a lot of this going on in the grocery store, but it's really important that you know how to do it. Meat boning is something I've done for many years here at our family butcher shop. And along the way, a lot of other employees have shown me tips and tricks, and I, I hope this video is helping you out. So we're gonna cut off some little bone pieces there. Those aren't gonna grind up well. And the rest of this is pretty easy peasy. We're just gonna cut that up into some chunks, nice chunks for the grinder. So you wanna make sure if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more carnivorian content and ring that bell to get notifications of new meat cutting videos. Up next is our brisket. So some customers want to go ahead and keep the brisket. Others don't really care. So this can make some really nice stew if they don't want to keep it and smoke it. And I'm just going to kind of show you how I like to do the briskets. A lot of the cuts of meat, I'll go ahead and trim off some of the fat now. Some people do like more fat in their grind, so our customers just let us know if they want an extra lean grind or if they want one that has a little bit more fat. So briskets is composed of two halves. There's a point half and the flat half. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my knife and just kind of get some of that meat from the point half and cut it away from that fat. We'll turn that into some ground beef or hamburger. Sweet, we got that taken care of. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim off that fat and we're gonna pull away the flat muscle here from the brisket. So we just use our knife, that meat hook. You use your hand here, we just kind of pull it. And like a lot of these meat boning or meat breaking down, the muscles have seams and you just let your knife be the guide. All right, almost there, all said, all done. You're gonna be a brisket pro if you gotta bone that out on the boning table. So there are a little few more chunks of meat that we can get. We wanna try to get as much hamburger as we can for our customers. And there you have that. Rest is pretty easy peasy. I'm just cutting that up in strips so it'll grind up nice. We could also make some stew out of it. Sweet, so far you got two down. We've done the neck and brisket. Up next is the beef plate. 
So what I like to do, there's some fly swatter or elephant ear meat. The animals use that meat to kind of keep the flies off where they twitch it. I like to peel that off first, it makes it pretty easy. And then I usually like to take off some of this fat here right now, it makes it a little bit easier once I pull this little chunk of meat away from those bones. So if you want to see a knife sharpening video, just let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to make one of those for you. We really dig the bearded butchers here at Knudsen's Meats. And any of you guys that are doing local meat processing, a shout out to you. We know how busy you've been and we've been during these times here the last couple years trying to process as much locally grown meat as we can. So again, just following that meat and the bone. And now we're gonna go through each little rib bone here and cut out some of that fingerling kind of meat there. I learned this from Al Smith. He was 84 years old, one of the Tri-Cities first local butchers here in the great Northwest. We'll trim up that and get those ready for some grind. And then the rest of this piece is quite easy now that we've already pre-trimmed it. All right, you've made it to finals, folks. We're here doing a beef round shank. So we do have a video on how we bone out the beef rounds. You can cut this up and make some nice meaty bone, or they call that ose buco in French. Some customers want soup bones. We're happy to get those for them. But for this video, we're gonna be showing you how to bone the beef shank. So we're just using our knife. We're following the bone on each side, getting as much meat as we can. Make sure you always cut away from yourself and wear protective gear. So there's our femur bones. Some people want them for dog bones and we're just about there folks. We're just gonna cut this up into some nice chunks for hamburger, do a little trimming. Again, this could make nice meat for stew if that's something that your customers want or you guys want. And we're 99% there, folks. We hope you've enjoyed this boning tutorial. This is Knutson's Meats here in Pasco, Washington, giving you some tips and tricks. And if you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up like below. Let us in the comments below if you have any other videos you'd like to see us make or your thoughts on the video. And subscribe for more carnivorian content. Tap that bell for notifications. And we want to thank you so much for watching and hope you have a nice steak.